Telecom Talks, your weekly go-to source for the best small cap headlines for over 65 million investors since 2007. Today we're doing a rapid fire deep dive. We're looking at some critical breakthroughs, uh, really focusing on tangible results from small cap companies, stuff that's shaping industries right now. I think this like a, well, a direct high impact report breaking news style. Exactly. And these aren't just headlines you scroll past, they're signals. These are those key moments where R&D actually shifts into real world application. Yeah. Gives you compelling reasons to dig deeper. Okay, first up, let's unpack a big development in energy storage. We're driving HPQ Silicon. That's the headline. HPQ Silicon's French partner Novasium launches industrial production of high performance silicon based battery cells. So this is huge. It's that shift from research to, well, actual revenue potential. Industrial production is starting. And these aren't just any cells. They've got uh, Impressive specs, 4,000 to 6,000 milliamp hours capacity, over 1,000 charge cycles too. Mm -hmm. And crucially, they are drop in use. Right. Drop in use, compatible with existing lithium ion production lines. That lowers the barrier to entry significantly. And CEO Bernard Torreon had a powerful quote. We are not here to follow the market. We are here to help shape it. Yeah, that quote says a lot. And the strategic angle here, especially for North America, is critical. HPQ has that exclusive North American license for Novasium's uh, tech. That's their latest silicon formulation. It really positions them to impact future battery supply chains, You know, helping to localize production. Big potential for EV makers right here. OK, shifting gears now. This is where it gets really interesting, uh, moving to environmental remediation. Let's look at Zephyro Methane, ZEFI on the CBOE Canada headline. Zephyro secures $19.6 million contract to plug methane leaking oil and gas wells in Ohio. $19.6 million. That's a significant contract uh, over three years. They're going to oversee plugging and abandoning about 200 of these leaking wells through their subsidiary, Plants and Goodwin Inc. And it's structured as a uh, CMOR agreement, construction manager at risk. Right. Which means that Firo isn't just overseeing, they're taking on real leadership and accountability for the whole process, managing the risk. And this is, well, it's profoundly significant environmentally and economically. You have to remember, methane, it's over 80 times more potent than CO2 as a greenhouse gas in the short term. It's a major climate issue. 80 times, wow. Yeah. So this project directly tackles a huge source of those emissions. Plus, it creates, and I quote, good long-term jobs for the state of Ohio. It's a clear win-win, climate action driving local economic benefits. So what about healthcare? Let's turn to Quantum Biopharma. QNTM on the NASDAQ, their headline. Quantum Biopharma and Massachusetts General Hospital launched groundbreaking imaging study for multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. Big news here. The first MS patient has already been scanned in this joint clinical study. The aim, to actually visualize and measure the brain damage from MS to demyelination and see how well new treatments work, including Quantum's own drug, Lucid 21302. Exactly, and this isn't just, you know, a slightly better picture. It's potentially a game changer for MS research. Traditional MRI has limitations in seeing the specific damage. This new approach, it provides a much clearer biomarker. Think about it. If you can see the disease progression and treatment response clearly, you can potentially develop drugs much faster, more targeted therapies for patients sooner. Okay, from health to defense, let's talk Dragonfly. DPRO on the NASDAQ, mm -hmm. headline. Dragonfly's Commander 3XL drone achieves perfect score in US Army trials with autonomous resupply system. A perfect score. 100% mission success rate during the Army's uh, rigorous SMS-25 experiment. Their Commander 3XL drone, working with TB2 Aerospace's DRPS system, handled everything autonomously. Payload ops, return, docking, recharging. No humans needed for that loop. Mm -hmm. And what's really impactful here is how this lines up perfectly with the U.S. military's goals. They're pushing hard to modernize battlefield logistics. Yeah. Plus, you have that presidential executive order on unleashing American drone dominance. This system shows exactly how autonomy can reduce risk to soldiers and massively boost efficiency for critical resupply. Faster, safer, more resilient logistics on the ground. Makes sense. All right, finally, let's hit the precious metal sector. Next Gold trading under NEXG on the TSXV. Headline, Next Gold reports promising infill drill results at Nova Scotia's Goldboro project. They've got strong assay results back from their infill drilling. Confirms high-grade gold. One hole, uh, BR25504 hit 1.60 grams of gold per ton over nearly 37 meters. That's a solid intercept. Yeah, and it included a higher grade kicker, 53.57 grams per ton over 0.60 meters. Pretty impressive. This is all part of their big 
thousand meter drill program, which is wrapping up. The goal is upgrading resources before a potential construction decision in 2026. And that infill drilling, it might sound a bit you know, granular or technical to some listeners, but for investors, it's absolutely critical. This is how you de-risk a deposit. It tightens up the data, improves the confidence in the resource classification, basically tells you more reliably how much gold is there and where. That directly impacts the project's economics and its bankability down the line. Great point. Wow, what an incredible range of innovation we just covered. Seriously, energy storage, environmental cleanup, uh, medical breakthroughs, defense logistics, gold exploration. These small cap companies, they aren't just like making headlines. They're delivering real, tangible, market-ready results. Stuff that's changing things. It really is remarkable, and it leads to, I think, an important question for you to consider. As these companies make that jump from the lab or the field into the broader market, what factors will truly define their long-term success? It's often not just about that initial breakthrough, right? It's about the execution, the scaling. Mm -hmm. it makes you think about what comes next. Absolutely. A lot to watch. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Keep exploring. Keep staying informed. We'll catch you next time on Agoracom Talks.